Hi, Schlagmeister fans. Anthony Perkins, Norman Bates as Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde, and Jack the Ripper, Edge of Sandy. Let's watch. Our movie starts out in the past, a little boy watching a lovely lady. Is she looking at him? She wasn't actually, she was looking at her lover, who was uh, porking her, and then uh, he fell, and he's going to get spanked for it. Turns out it's a flashback nightmare for Henry. That's Anthony Perkins as Dr. Henry Jekyll. Dr. Jekyll's invented as a new anesthesia. You're a lucky man. This is a new anesthetic. Well, that's right, sir. He sees a prostitute who has some scars on her. My brother's that is. She turns around, but I can't show you that. This looks like a rope, though. Oh, well, that's right. So Dr. Jekyll has this monkey that, uh... He's tripped over a potion or something, and as soon as he inhales these fumes, something's going to happen. And then he turns into Mr. Hyde. As Mr. Hyde, he goes to visit a brothel. And you'll... As you do. Show Mr. Hyde our selection. I'm sure we can find something to take his fancy. In the street, he sees a public display of a fax, which reminds of when he was a kid and saw that scene in the barn. That's enough of that. He ends up taking a prostitute home and roughs her up a bit. He gets really rough with her here. And opened her up to here. The police. Clean as a codfish from Biddle's Gate Market. More than good eyes and nerves, obviously. Someone who knows anatomy, right? He's in a bathhouse. It will be ready. Of course, if they uh, do send me off to take over this job in Calcutta. Anyway, as Hyde again, he's enticed by some boobies. I totally get it. He takes her on the roof. He puts on a little show for a guy peeping at them. But it doesn't end well for her. Our hide is Jack the Ripper. I see a piece of food I want. I take it. Henry, please. He's talking about what happens if there's no rules. I take her as well. Hold on, Jekyll. You all act as if our manners, our morality were handed down to us by God. Dr. Jekyll appears to kind of be losing his mind sometimes when going back and forth between Hyde and himself. The cocaine there doesn't help matters either. That's right. He becomes a regular oh, visitor to the brothel. Do you think I'm nice? Well, I don't know yet. This guy comes in to join them and they get him high too. Take his trousers off. <laughs> And we get some sort of bizarre threesome here. And another murder. Jekyll's wife. But he's not here, ma'am. Oh, where is he? I'm afraid I don't know. He's never here at night. What do you mean? He works here every night. No, Mrs. Jack. That's the only... But you can see that, though, can't you? 
he gets stopped by this woman who tries to pick him up. He's going. But it turns out that she and her partner are actually thieves. And the ripper goes ripping. She calls him out that he wasn't there. He's been telling her that he's been visiting a patient named Mr. Hyde. Promise me. He smooths it over though. Promise me Henry will be here when I need you. As a doctor, they asked him to look at one of the recent victims. No doctor could have done this. Throw them off the scent. Now this is his wife, but he's having flashbacks to that scene when he was a little kid up in the loft. In the barn. His next victim. She's asking if anybody knows a Mr. Hyde. Hyde. Yes, I mean a friend of mine, she knows him. Well, who is she? Nobody special, just a friend of mine. She always says she go when she finds a good man to take care of her. Things are getting a little weird now. Anyway, she gets out of there. She hears a commotion. So she heard a gunshot, she goes running. And there's her husband. It's not going to end well for her. Better get back to trying to find this monster. Thank you for your help, Dr. Jekyll. The police think she was murdered by someone else. All right, let's talk about this movie called Edge of Sanity. It's a movie that I believe I taped off of cable around 1988-89 or so. Don't think I watched it at the time, but I did watch it later on. I think I watched it maybe one or two other times. Um, hadn't seen it in a long, long time, though. What you got here is basically Anthony Perkins, best known as Norman Bates. Uh, he In this movie, Norman Bates plays Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde, and Jack the Ripper, all rolled up into one. Um, he is a doctor, Dr. Jekyll, and uh, uh, he's got this new... Um, uh, anesthesia he's created. However, some fumes go off uh, when his monkey tips over his beaker or whatever, and uh, he inhales him. Next thing you know, he turns into this Mr. Hyde. Not overly physically, like into a monster, but he turns into this crazy Mr. Hyde character. And as Mr. Hyde, he goes around London's brothels uh, looking for women, this and that. And then, of course, he slices women in the street. Um, so he becomes Jack the Ripper as well. Uh, all along, uh, the police are searching for him. They think the guy might have some sort of uh, medical background because of the way he slices. At one point, they actually questioned Dr. Jekyll, but they're actually more looking for his expertise. And he looks at the body at one point. I showed you this scene. He says, um, no doctor could have done this. Way to throw them off the case there. But anyway, um, he goes back to this brothel several times. He kills women. Um, and there's a lot of weirdness going on. He's taking this drug, too, which looks like cocaine, I think. I'm not sure. Um, he's do, using that. There's a lot of chaos going on. Ultimately, near the end of the movie, um, he ends up slicing his wife's throat as well, kills her as well. Uh, but apparently, he uh, pretends that um, he came home to discover the body. The police come over. They say, well, boy, it must have been a real shock. 
to come home to find your wife murdered, blah, blah, blah. And so he got away with it. Our movie ends with the inspector walking off and uh, Dr. Jekyll looking out the window and um, who knows what he has next. So anyway, uh, it was not a bad film, uh, actually. It was more like a split personality type thing between uh, the characters uh, that Anthony Perkins plays. Um, There's a lot of nudity in this movie, actually, too. Uh, Full frontal male nudity, actually, and a lot of uh, topless women in this movie. In fact, this movie is actually quite perverted. There's a lot of, like, pervy stuff, some sadomasochism stuff. Uh, if you're into that kind of stuff, you, you, you might enjoy this movie. Um, uh, kind of just a lot, a lot of, like, uh, dark, sexy, pervy stuff. So, anyway, I don't know what else I can say about this. Um, it's a decent film, though. Uh, I, I liked it. Um, uh, it came out in 1989, I believe, and Anthony Edwards, uh, Anthony Edwards, Anthony Perkins uh, was actually uh, diagnosed with AIDS a few years earlier, and I think he died in 1992, uh, three years after this film came out. So anyway, uh, just as a little tidbit there, another little tidbit you might not know about Anthony Perkins, even though he was a homosexual man, he was married, he had two kids, and his wife, um, uh, who he was married to up until the time he died, died, her, the wife died, in 9-11. She was in one of the planes that crashed into the World Trade Center. So, a little tidbit for you there. So anyway, uh, this movie is available on this Blu-ray with Destroyer. Um, it's available on a DVD, too. I actually had the DVD for 15 years or so, but um, now I have the Blu-ray. So anyway, check it out. I'll leave a link down below. If you're looking for this, you can get this for about maybe eh, 14 bucks or so. I'll leave a link. So anyway, check it out. Let me know what you think about it. It's called Edge of Sanity. Interesting film. Watch it. Bye.